Don't let anger be your boss. Do you ever find yourself suddenly feeling angry? One moment you're fine, and the next moment you're slamming doors or rolling your eyes at your parents. Some people may think you just have a bad attitude or are getting too upset about a small problem. However, these feelings don't simply come from stress about everyday life. Where does adolescent anger come from? As a teen, you may feel like an adult, but your brain is still growing. In your brain, there is a part that is responsible for solving problems and controlling your emotions. In your teen years, this part is still in development. The changes in your brain lead you toward independence, social engagement, and creativity. At the same time, however, you may feel confused about who you are. You may also be more sensitive to unfairness. Furthermore, your body is flowing with hormones. This significantly affects your mood. The combination of these factors intensifies your strong emotions. Getting to know your anger. It is natural to feel angry from time to time. It doesn't mean there is something wrong with you. Anger can sometimes be a useful tool. For example, an angry but open conversation can resolve a conflict between friends. The important thing is to manage your anger so that it does not turn into aggressive or violent behavior. This does not mean that you should stop yourself from feeling angry. Rather, you should express it in a productive way. Ask yourself some questions about your angry feelings. This can help you to better understand your anger. Questions to ask yourself. How often do I feel angry? What situations make me feel the most intense anger? Is my anger directed at anyone or anything in particular? Do I focus on the causes of my anger instead of solutions? Can I control my emotions when I get angry? How do I react and behave when I get angry? First aid to calm yourself down. You need to learn how to deal with anger in a socially appropriate way. Remember, anger is a feeling, but behavior is a choice. The first step is recognizing the physical signs of anger. It is possible to recognize those signs in advance. They include an increased heart rate, a flushed face, and the clenching of your fists. When these things happen, take action to reduce your anger. For example, you could try taking a break to organize your thoughts or ending a conversation before it gets too intense. Finding proper coping skills. In some cases, the strategies mentioned above may not be enough, so you may need to find proper coping skills for your personal situation. Without the right coping skills, you may find yourself becoming verbally or even physically aggressive. Explore various strategies to discover what is best for you, such as taking a walk, drawing a picture, or writing down things that come to your mind. You can also try to find possible solutions to a problem and then compare the advantages and disadvantages of each one. By developing problem-solving skills, you will learn that there are many ways to solve a problem without getting angry. Anger is an emotion that we all experience. By managing your anger properly, you can be the boss of your feelings, not the other way around. This is an important step in finding your true self and taking control of your life.